Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to Stretch the Sketch. It is the five year anniversary of Stretch the Sketch, which is pretty much a brainchild of Janet Fritz. She's amazing. Um, I love her inspiration. I love her advice. I love Janet. <laughs> so I, we have all decided to, because it's also May I Scrap Lift You this month, we are scrap lifting Janet. And then we're doing whatever, whatever like format she has, we have to do a different size. And then we're also having to incorporate wood grain because wood is the five year gift for anniversary gifts. So lots of fun stuff will be had. Janet has tons of inspiration. So you're probably going, the likelihood of someone scrap lifting something the same of Janet's is probably pretty slim unless everybody was really taken aback or really taken by something recently. I, I, Janet makes so many amazing things and she has so many ideas. So I like to even scrap lift her just because she's had ideas and I want to try those ideas or the looks that she's created by doing something specific, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to actually scrap lift this layout. And the reason I chose this one is because one, uh, Janet was talking about in the video that she had on YouTube for this, um, layout that she has tons of pre-cut cut files in her stash for a few years and she was trying to use them up. She was doing a, um, a series with MK, um, using cut files in different ways other than just backing them. And so I too have lots of cut files. I love the light on the dark and I love the way it stretches across the page and I'm going to do a two page spread. At least is my plan. I got to look through all my cut files. I'm going to use some pre-cut cut files that I have. I have, um, or some that have already been cut. So I'm not going to go cut a brand new one. I have, um, an iris container of cut files I have. Let me show you. So this thing is full of cut files. Okay. So <laughs> I'm sure I can find something. So I've got cut files to use. I'm trying to kind of finish up um, one of my uh, trip layouts as well. Well, I'm working on it. I shouldn't say try finishing up because I'm not even close to finishing up, but I'm working on one of my trip layouts as well. And Janet was actually doing a trip layout or a trip album, working on one um, during this page as well. So I have a lot of things that I'm kind of taking away from this. So I'm gonna go figure out what pages I'm for sure going to do and um, pick a cut file and then I'll check back in with you. I've found things and made some decisions. So I wanted a dark background like Janet because I wanna be, and I also wanted to be able to color um, a cut file but not super dark but I want because I wanted to pop so I went uh I didn't go look through my typical collections um because I I found that I had and with Janice Leo too she didn't use a lot of paper it was the background paper cut file and some embellishments and I know I had tons of embellishments left from this Echo Park away we go and I thought these would be good um stickers for I have a bunch of us um adventuring around after we rode the 1880 train um, to and from, then you get to like just mosey around town. And so I have pictures of our adventures around town. So I thought that would be kind of good, perfect for that. So I have all these pick colors that I could pick from. So I was really looking for a navy blue, but I didn't find a dark navy blue in anything that I had that was a pattern that I liked, but I found this that I thought worked. There's leaves, there's greenery, there's a fox and rabbit and birds, so outdoors and it kind, the colors go with this. So, um, and this is from this Park Lane Sonoma paper pad. I just opened it. I got these Black Friday um, this last year. And so I got three or four of them just for things like this, for two page spreads, random backgrounds, mixing with my collections and my stash, which Janet's amazing at doing as well. So I'm kind of trying to channel my inner Janet when I'm doing this layout. And then what I found in my giant stash of cut files is I found this one. I thought this one would be really cool to kind of cut apart and have it span across the two pages and to be easier to do than some other ones. I didn't find one like Janet's where it wasn't like a square background type thing. This was the most, I think I've used most of those because I like those a lot. Um, this was the most non-backgroundy background <laughs> cut file I could find. Um, and this one's by Marcy Millie. 
I will have that right here. I'm, I think it's an Etsy shop. Um, I don't know if it still exists or not. I, by the time you guys see this, I will have researched that and we'll have it a link down below if it's available. If not, I'll have that down below as well. So I thought it'd be fun to play with the colors that are in this collection then. And so that's why I really gravitated toward this like turquoisey teal because it's not the same color that's in this collection, but it, it will go well with it. It lends well with it. And then along with um, uh, that, I found these, I think they're clear stickers. Yes, clear stickers that fit perfectly in these circles. So I'll bring a little gold into my layout as well since I'm probably going to color this with shimmers which a lot of times will have some gold flecks and stuff in it and I'm thinking about going for more of the corally colors to color in here or maybe even the paler um minty color to kind of contrast with this but yet coordinate with it I haven't decided quite what I want to do but then I have like very few little scraps so I can tuck some color to paper in somewhere look at that little trouble um and then I have, yeah, this sticker sheet and then these few stickers. So we'll see what I can do with these if I can use them at all. Um, but that's where we're at. So, and then I cut both of these down. I cut a quarter inch off of just one side and then a quarter inch off two sides, top and bottom, so that when it's in my album, just the outside of the two page spread will have a white border and these are scraps they have cut files taken out of them they were in my cut file container as well so we're gonna get to coloring this first um, and then we'll start laying down I'm gonna trim down my photos um, we'll color this and then we'll let it dry and then we'll start laying things down and figuring out where we want to tuck things place things that kind of thing all right I've grabbed out it's meant to be and which is blue um, just to be more tone on tone and not super so it'll stand out but not like crazy stand out and so I'm just gonna randomly paint some circles gonna, like fade into the darker blue so it's not gonna be just it's gonna be random but not random <laughs> And now my mint to be is an original, so I didn't need to add water normally, but I did because mine is so low. I like this color a lot. Mine is so low that it kind of dries up. There's not a lot of liquid with it. Um, so I added water, but that doesn't mean you always have to. And then the witch's blue is, is it an Inklings? Creamies. So it, you need water to activate it like a watercolor. So I did spritz some in there. Okay, we're gonna go with that so far. Let's see how this goes. And it always looks different when it dries. That's always the case. Okay, so <laughs> I started cutting up my cut file realizing I didn't show you guys when it was done, but you can see how pretty it looks. And here's what it looks like on top of this paper, which I'm very happy with. Um, so I started working on this page um, mostly because I um, got too excited and just started. Um, so I've tacked these photos, these photos, they're just very lightly tacked down because I was trying to figure out an arrangement how I wanted them. And now these ones are completely glued down after I laid the cut file under. So I laid the cut file down here. I cut out what was going to be behind there, which ended up being like all of this because I laid it down kind of like that. 
And then any little snippets I've added here and there to kind of keep it flowing. And that's kind of the whole goal coming this way. So I was thinking of having it come out in the corner over here and then have some down here maybe. And maybe if we can get a few snippets over there. But I wanted to kind of start playing and see how I liked things. So far, so good. I'm trying to use up as many of these stickers as I possibly can. Um, so yeah. Um, I am now just trying to place things. Um, like here where I cut the cut file apart. And I haven't really looked through a ton of my wood veneer except for a couple items so that I get my wood item down which these ones make me very happy. I'm tempted to put a little bit of this. Is this sticker long enough to go under my title? I would cut it. It actually is. Okay. It's long enough to like go under and look cute. So yeah, whole goal is to use as many of these stickers as I can. And so far that it's going well. I'm using quite a few of them. And now it's not looking like Janet's layout at all. Um, but the whole point of scrap lifting is to take an idea from them or a look and make it your own, especially since I'm making this a two page spread. It already is not gonna look like it, but hopefully you can see the inspiration I got from Janet. But that is usually what happens when I scrap lift, unless I really like I'm doing an almost like an exact copy, which is not very often. I usually start going off on a path and I, it's more of a jumping off point, which any inspiration you should take, you should use it as a jumping off point. If you want to change something, do it. It's your page. Do what you want. It doesn't have to be an exact copy. These stickers are actually surprisingly Pretty sticky still. Now those stickers all look wonky, but that's okay. And I was gonna put, so I put a couple of the clear stickers down so far too. So I think I'm gonna put this camera here. I like this. I like this one a lot. So we're gonna put that in the middle there. So we're gonna work on the cut file going behind there. So another thing I did is when I trimmed it down and glued it to this white piece of paper, so now we can move over, except for I need my scissors to trim this apart. Um, I did not glue the end down so I can trim off the excess, which is what I did on this side. And then when I got it laid down the way I wanted to, I went and glued all the edges down and then I glued the edge so that it has that yeah blah 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 that's what I feel like I'm doing I want it to be like at a funky angle I don't want it to be perfect kind of want like that so let's I know this will be all down and this will be all down So then what I do, here, we're just gonna move this page out of the way, even though it looks fabulous. We're just gonna move it out of the way. What I will do is I'll take this and go, okay, so this is gonna be behind the photo. This is gonna be behind the photo. We're gonna cut this here and here. Wherever. And we have that left over. And then we can, then what I do is I will lift this up. I will glue this down and that'll help, help hold the rest of the cut file down so I can glue more. If you needed any tips and tricks on doing this, here you go. These are, this is how I do it. I'm gonna glue this one down.
So now I'm gonna go back in and glue wherever it needs it. Just less glue. All right. So now I can go with this edge up and go along this and just trim, trim. And then same with this side. And what I love about this left row right now, I'm like, okay, I can use this half circle somewhere and probably this little bit. And then these two chunks. We'll tuck them in somewhere. Oops, a little too much. So then I'll just finish gluing. It is a little tedious, yes, but the effect is awesome. Now we can continue with our sticker happiness. And I think we can officially say that that's pretty good. I don't think I'm going to add any more. So I'll move this back over and bring in our other sheet so you can see together what it all looks like. I like it. I like it. I think I've got all the stickers used up that I can use on this one right now. I feel like we need some more wood vinegar. Do I have like any little bits? So I'm finding a bunch more wood veneer, which is awesome. And I'm kind of just scattering it. I'm not really, um, nothing is really, things are triangled, but not in a way that would be, I don't know, actually measured. Um, but I am kind of trying to put wood in kind of few places to spread it out, uh, just so... It, is spread out. This is Colorcast Designs. Um, this is some of the, her older stuff because it still has the adhesive backing to it, which is my favorite. I'm so glad I have some of that. Um, but yeah, I'm finding a lot more. I got some enamel dots on there. <sighs> a lot more things. I kind of want like a tab or something over here. Um, yeah. Anywho, we're getting there. I think I'm about finished. Um, actually, I think this stamp would be perfect up over in this corner. We're just gonna do that and say that's good to go. I'll move that enamel dot so it goes over top. Perfect. Oh my god, that's another sticker used. Yeah, I think we're good. So this does not look anything like Janet's, but it's inspired in it. It's I told you kind of what it started it, and I really like how it came out. Another two-page spread done, another set of photos scrapped, and some great inspiration from Janet which is always there. She's full of it. So make sure you guys, if you've never checked her out, which I highly doubt it, but if you've never checked her out, go do that. Go do so. And I appreciate you watching me. Check out everybody else who is down below celebrating the five years of Stretch the Sketch and playing and scraplifting Janice Day for May I Scrap With Do. Anything wood veneer. We'll see you next time. Bye.